We're given the equation of a sphere and we're asked to find the center and the radius of it. So in doing this, what we're going to do is kind of line this up so that it works into this formula. So it's x minus some value being squared, y minus some value being squared, and z minus some value being squared. And then the other side, we want that just to be something that is being squared. So in rewriting this, let's make them so they're all subtractions in between. So it's really that first set of parentheses that we have to worry about, that it's x minus a negative 5 quantity squared, y minus 4 quantity squared, and z minus 1 quantity squared. Now on the right hand side, it doesn't look like a perfect square just yet. Instead, we can replace 16 with 4 squared. Now, 16 worked out to be a perfect square, so we were able to just rewrite it. If you couldn't rewrite it, say it was like a 15 over on the other side, you could rewrite that as the square root of 15 quantity squared, as we think of squaring and square roots as being inverse operations. From here, picking out our order triple, that's going to go as whatever value is being subtracted from x, so negative 5, the value with y, and the value with z. Um, finally, on the right hand side, you can see that it's 4 squared. 4 is occupying the same place as where our r is in the formula, so 4 is going to be our radius. Now, a lot of students remember these as all you do is you use that same value, but it looks like positive 5 in the initial. You want to switch the sign as you're listing out the radius. So positive 5 in the formula becomes negative 5 for the center. Negative 4 in the formula becomes positive 4. Negative 1 becomes positive 1. And for the radius, you can simply take the square root of whatever number is on the right-hand side. Uh, in my example off to the side with the 15, the radius here would have been the square root of 15. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working on finding centers and radiuses of spheres.